I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. In this video, we're gonna react again to a pilot who crashes on landing. We're gonna look at why this happens to him. Uh, we're also gonna look at tips and tricks for you and your instructor to prevent this type of thing from ever happening to you. So let's just watch this first one time through. Uh, you can see here that the pilot is on approach and notice his airspeed, all right? It's at least 20 or 25 knots fast. Um, it's kind of hard to see the exact markings here, but I can tell from the needle position that this pilot is carrying too much airspeed. Okay, let's break this down a little bit. There are five phases to a landing, all right? There is the approach phase, there is the round out phase, there is the flare, there is the touchdown, and there is the rollout. If you're able to divide your landing into these five phases, you can be very granular about what is going right and what is going wrong. And the first step, the approach, means that you have good airspeed control. If you can't control your airspeed, simply go around, practice a go around. Do not attempt landing until you can control your airspeed because when you land an airplane, you, you sort of have to trick it into stopping flying, right? I always tell people the hard thing about landing is you have to go down and slow down at the same time, and altitude is potential energy. And if you arrive at the ground with 20 knots too much speed, you are not going to be able to get the wing to stop flying flying. And you can see as this pilot starts to round out, you can see the airspeed bleeding off and he starts to balloon. So he corrects that. And he's wrestling with this round out flare moment. He's losing visual reference over the horizon, drifting left, not able to keep the references. All of this is a result of having too much airspeed. You can look for better places to look in the round out in the flare so that you keep a forward reference and don't drift left. Uh, you guys have heard me recommend high speed taxis so that you can work with the Lindbergh reference. There's more about that at, at learnthefinerpoints.com. But if you have too much airspeed, 20 knots too much airspeed, this entire round out flare moment is going to go on way too long and there are going to be varying control forces to achieve the same effects as you slow down. Right, because as you bleed off that airspeed, the airflow over your control surfaces is changing. So if you don't have a good visual reference like the Lindbergh reference in that moment, you are definitely going to drift. And there's no way you can guess at how much those control forces are changing to keep everything static. So the number one problem here is the pilot has too much airspeed. If that's happening to you, simply go around. Don't try to force a square peg into a round hole. Go around until you can control your airspeed within five knots. Once you have that, uh, check out the lessons in our Ground School app. We will talk to you about a trigger reference point, which is a point in front of your aiming point. And once that disappears in your window, it's time to round out. We'll talk through how you can flare to make sure that you're bleeding off the energy while maintaining directional control by looking at the Lindbergh reference. Finally, we'll talk through the touchdown and the rollout. All right, aviators, that's all. I hope you got a little something out of this reaction video. Uh, if you'd like to see me react to something specific, please mention it in the comments. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads and share far and wide with your friends. A uh, huge thanks to the sponsors for their support of this show. Remember that ForeFlight is the essential app for aviation online at foreflight.com. And when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. Also, a huge thanks to the patrons. If you guys want bonus content and want to help support this channel, Patreon is an awesome way. There's tons of content over there, monthly hangouts with me, and much, much more. Uh, for more information on how you can support this channel, and to get bonus content, check out patreon.com slash learntfp. You guys are the best fans on the internet. I'm Jason Miller, and until next time, be safe and fly your best.